That is a classic example of the mark you are looking at there. A mechanical thoroughbred. Elegance, performance. Uh, there are not many of them in the country. Polsky, two and a half litre engine, perestroika the carburettors. You are buying into a different social class with a car like this. That's for certain. It's all uphill from now on. Uh, feel, uh, feel free to browse, Squire. I I'll just have a word with my staff. Oi, oi, what's all this? I've been polishing like a robot for hours. I'm allowed a break and I... No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your remarks when I'm trying to flog a motor. I'll pay you for elbow grease out there, not sabotage. Oh, hello. Oh, Ooh, someone's had it off. What? Safety deposit boxes in the city. No. Yeah, serves them right for hiding it. My first thought is... <laughs> what did you say? Said it serves them right for hiding it. When you put money in a deposit box, it's bound to be bent, isn't it? Well, no. Excuse me, I'm only reading it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, I thought you were oh all right, son. Oh. Sorry. Tell me it's misprint. Tell me I'm having a delusion. Oh, help me, Terry. What? Oh. Well, it's not as if you had any money. You did have Dosh in there, didn't you? You crafty old sod. Well, come on, what else you got, eh? Bank accounts in Switzerland, money in South Africa. Don't give me a bit of aggravation, Terry. I've just had a massive shot to my nervous system. Where was the law? That is a public outrage. That is downright criminal. Well, robbery normally is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, here you go, look. Oh. <laughs> the police were unaware of the robbery until several hours after the thieves had left. Oh. Well, you can say goodbye to that lot then, can't you? Well, don't just sit there. Do something. Get in the car. Get your coat. Get my coat. We've got to get down there. I've been robbed. Yeah. Come on. Oh, we're locked in. Oi, 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 oi. Keep his shirt on. It's about the only thing you've got left. <laughs> Forget that. We're closed. Come on, Terry. You what? Closed. I said closed, you mutton. Come on, get out of here. Well, it's sorry no, no, I'm sorry about to... this. He's, uh, he's just lost something very dear to him, all right? Well, if he's going to sell cars that way. Have a nice day, darling. You've made mine. Come on, then, out with it. How much? How much what? Don't get all snow white. You know what I'm talking about. How much bin did you have in that box? Five. Six. Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Grand? In folding? Oh, you old rascal. How'd you get hold of twenty-five grand? Working my bone to the knuckles, that's how. How do you think? Now some desperado's got his Germans on it without lifting a finger. They should bring back hanging. That'll stop them. What, we're stealing money? The town'll be empty. Anyway, it's got to be bent, isn't it? I mean, otherwise you wouldn't have to hide it in a hole in the wall. Will you stop casting aspersions? He's not bent. Anyway, Terry, 25 grand is not a king's ransom these days. Nah. Chicken feed, isn't it? Not worth getting out of bed for. And that's why you're going loopy trying to catch up with it. You can't park it here. Of course I can, it's an emergency. If any bother, I'll bung the bishop. I could hardly take it home and stick it in a jar, could I? Her indoors goes through me pocket fluff every night. If she found it, she'd spend it on face cream in a couple of days. What's wrong with the bank, or is that a silly question? Oh, you shall loaf, for God's sake. I'll stick it in a bank, Her Majesty's jackals be buying up my heels for their whack. They'd whistle up a jump jet and leave me with a small change. Oh, I see. Tax evasion. Avoidance, Terry. Avoidance. An entirely different matter. Yeah, well, this way, of course, you've uh, avoided it altogether, haven't you? <laughs> oh, my life. Look at this lot. 
Looks like a funeral, doesn't it? What's going on? I'm a friend and a manager. I want a full explanation of this outrage. I want total resuscitation, you understand? Where is the manager? I'm sorry, Mr Daly, he can't be here just now, but we'll bring your box for inspection. I assure you the company offers its apologies for all oh, this. Oh, that's very nice, yes. Your apologies. That'll keep the wall from the door, won't it? I'd like to wait in there, sir. We shan't keep you a moment. So, this is where you collect the ashes, is it? What do you know about it? You've never accumulated more than the price of your next gum shield. This ordeal is putting years on me. What have I done to deserve this? You've got to look on the bright side, Arthur. What bright side? Well, you're getting your box back, aren't you? Where is the manager? What is that lackey doing running the place? The manager's probably opening the police with their inquiries, isn't he? What? You said... Hey, your box, Mr Daly, and your security card. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, just a moment, Terry. Please. Yeah, that'll be all, thank you. Terry, don't move from here. Don't let anyone near that box. Kill, if necessary. We'll, uh, we'll go into details later. They're hardly they likely to come back, are they? I mean, I haven't counted what they got before yet. If... Hey! Excuse me, young man, you're going to be leaving your bicycle here very long. If, come on, come on, hold the handle for a minute. Oh. That's it, gotcha. What are you doing? Is this strictly necessary? I can carry this thing without looking like a runaway slave, you know. Uh, stitch in nine, Terence, and I do not intend to have two traumas on an empty stomach. There, anyone wants that, they've got to chop you off at the wrist. Oh, thanks very much. I'll make sure I don't bleed all over your 25 grand, of course. Shush, shush. There might be a revenue knock about. <laughs> what? What are you going to do with all this? Bury it at the crossroads? The robbery of a ear. London security firm in the early hours of the morning. Arthur. Arthur Daly, you old bandit. Well, I never. Morty's Tony. What you doing here? I thought you was abroad. Oh, I come and I go of a business like. Hey, what's the SP in there then? Someone said they've been turned over. You just come out. Uh, no, no, no. Um, oh, this is Terry. Terry, this is Tony Manzoni. Used to run a drinks club in Soho. And the rest, how are you? Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. Well, nice to see you, Tony, but we have to get on. Tempest Fugit and all that. We must have a drink sometime. Yeah, good idea. You still use that club here, or was the Enfield, wasn't it? No, it's the Winchester. The Winchester, they are. I knew it was a rifle. <laughs> well, we'll have a bevy down there then, eh, shall we? Yeah, yeah, good idea. Oh, no! Ah, oh, who done that? Well, don't look at me like that. You parked it. So you uh, didn't lose nothing, then, Arthur. It must be your lucky day. What was it? A bit of wedge you got tucked away from the old tax man? No, 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 nothing like that. Just a bundle of business papers, you know. Company documentation, that sort of thing. Tiresome if they go missing, but of no value whatsoever. Oh, yeah, is that why your mate's done up like the prisoner of Zender? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just looking after the sandwiches, aren't I? Hmm. Yeah. Salmon and cucumber, anybody? Terry. Ter Terry is uh, employed as my factotum. The uh, security device is to ensure that he's covered for third-party fire and theft as an employee in the event of any aggro. From your what? Don't fret about it, Arthur. I understand it's none of my business, eh? Couldn't have put it better myself, Tony. Oh, oh, just along here. Uh, do us fine. Uh, we'll alight here, driver, if you'd be so kind. What are you talking about? We're miles from the lock-up. That's lovely. Thanks a lot. Well, come on, Terry. Pay the man. Pay the man. Do what? Well, I can't. I've only got credit cards. It, Tony, um, sorry, I've only got credit cards. Don't worry about it, Arthur. You can buy me a drink. Good idea. Ta. See ya. Till I, Tony.
you put a pot of water over his eyes, didn't you, eh? You and your bundle of paper. Who's <laughs> that around just here? Oh, no, sorry, I forgot. Security, innit? What's all this about credit cards? You're not allowed a credit card. Who is he, anyway? I don't remember seeing him on this manor. No, his dad made a packet in Soho after the war. There were a lot of Maltese there then, you know, tarts, gambling, all that. Oh, yeah, I remember them. <laughs> a lot of black shirts and white ties wandering up and down Old Compton Street. Spibs. Yeah, in a word. Hmm. Old man's only went home, took his pile with him. Tony stayed on, ran a club, and won them naughty cinemas till the council got the ump. He faded after they closed that down. I thought he might have gone back to the old country. They do that sort of thing, you know? Yeah, but if he was born here, this is his old country, isn't it? Huh? Ouch! Give me that. How'd you know him, anyway? Sold him his first motor. Oh. Vauxhall Cresta. Column change, bench seats, lovely thing. Come on, then, get this off us. I'm getting chainsaws. Do you like it? Chainsaws. <laughs> Never mind that. Hang on a minute. What are you doing? Listen. Strike me, where'd you get that? The Tower of London? <laughs> Warehouse clearance down the docks. Solid metal. Built when we still had an empire. But why didn't you put some of this in there? I mean, it would have saved all the aggro, wouldn't it? Because I was misled and believing a security company was a security company, not a takeaway for passing villains, much to my cost. What are they used to keep in it? Rats! Never mind that. Come on, let's get all this in there. Well, is it all right with you if I have my arm back first? No, no, Terry, I want an absolute vow of secrecy from you. Stum. Not a word to anyone, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't even go shouting out in your sleep. Because sometimes you'll mix with some very iffy company. Arthur, look, I'm not going to say anything, all right? Now, where's the key? That's all right, I've got the key. There you are. No, not that, you pillock. This. That thieving little toe rag. I gave him a jacks, too. He didn't give me the key. Hello, Mr. Kramer. Tony here. Maltese. Yeah, I'm in London, Mr. Kramer, at the hotel, oh, yeah. Well, there's been a bit of an upset this end. That address you gave me for the drop, well, it got turned over last night. No, it's straight up. It's in the papers and everything. I thought there might be friends of yours, mister. Well, of course not, no. What do you want me to do, then? All right, I'll be here. According to police, investigating the crime this morning, the full value of the deposit boxes raided by the gang may never be known with many depositors reluctant to reveal their contents. Hello. Yeah, right. Hello, Mr. Kramer. Get it sorted. Yeah. Tomorrow. No, fine by me. You're picking up the tab, Mr. Kramer. Where should I take it? Yeah, got that. He'll know me, will he? Right. 11 o'clock sharp. No, of course I won't, Mr. Kramer. More than my life's worth, innit? Yes, Mr. Kramer. I know you are. Well, tell her to hurry up and get over it, then. No one's gonna bang off a quid in the slot to watch her with a runny nose and a Beecham's powder, are they? Oh, hey, hang on, hang on. Ain't she got a sister or something? Mm, just my luck. All right, all right. Billy. What? Guess who I've just seen on the telly just now? The Archangel Gabriel. Look, I'm serious, Billy. What is this, mastermind? How do I know? Maltese bloody Tony on the telly just now. What are you on about, Des? Manzoni skipped two years ago. I'm telling you, there he was, stood in the street talking with that old ponce that sell motor cars. 
He's in London, Billy. He'll be in little pieces if he is. You sure about this? Of course I'm sure. I've got eyes in my head, haven't I? Just about. Who was this motor trader? You know him. He sold uh, Mickey Woods at Mercury Sawdust in the gearbox. Oh, what's his name? Um, Daly. That's a guy. Oh, for bloody Daly. What are you carrying in there? Well, I especially don't know, mate. So, Gordon Bennett, you could have my arm off with that. I've had enough drama without giving blood for him and all. Yeah, yeah. All I hope is he's not getting you and anything naughty. You've got far too much form for all of that, too. No, no, it's nothing like that. I'm his fat totem these days, aren't I? His what? Right hand man. <laughs> well, that's what worries me. He's got your your right arm locked up already. Yeah. <coughs> well done. Wonderful. Well, I better have a drink now, see if it still works, eh? Right. Unchained melody, eh? You remember that? Well, it's a song. Yeah, for your time, I expect. Jimmy Young used to sing it. Of course, that was before he became Jimmy Young. <laughs> he used to make his jaw stick out sideways, I remember. Oh, my love, my darling, I hunger for your touch. Oh. You better have one and all before you remember the rest of it and you stay like that. What do you reckon, eh? I don't know. Look, I'll wait here. You can't see what Billy says, all right? Good idea. Yeah. Nobody about, Gov. Gate's locked. Wouldn't take much to break into the office, sir. You want us to take a look? No. I can do without him calling the law before I've had a word with him. More teas to get wind of it and bolt. All right. What do you want us to hang about? Oh, he won't be back now. Check around a bit, Des. Find out where he drinks. And if you get hold of him, Bring him to me, right? No problem. Make sure he can still talk, though, eh? I don't want him spitting teeth all over my carpet. You can have your fun with more teas. When we lay hands on him. Can I help you, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, uh, looking for an alarm system for lock-up premises. Uh, not mine. Someone else's. I don't have one. Really? Well, if it's a full system you need, you'd need a specialist firm. Now I'll tell you what you need and install it for you. Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't want... Um, my friend doesn't want men in blue overalls swarming all over the place, you know. No, no. What he had in mind was a more cost-effective method of dissuasion, if I can find one for him, at a reasonable price. Well, if you want to do it on the cheap, there's... Um... a floodlight system you could put up for 50 quid. Ready to go. That, that, that seems very reasonable. Um, uh, how, how, how does it work? Uh, in layman's terms? Infrared. Yeah. Triggers off two floodlights. Works on body heat, car engines. Stays on or switches itself off on a timer. Oh, yeah, I can see the logic of that. That would save my friend money on his power bills, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah I think that's just a job. What, uh, what else you got? Georgie. You all right? Yeah, wonderful. Booking it for a couple of weeks next year, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't bring the family. <laughs> Had a little touch today. Might give you something to think about. Guess who's been spotted enjoying the fresh air today? Tell me. Only that rotten f fellow what marked your card with the vice squad, Georgie. That same geezer what got you banged up in here. Saving his own skin. Don't tell me you've forgotten his name. Must be all the interesting things you get up to in here. Yeah. Slip right out of my head. Bet he's forgotten mine, too. Jock his memory for me, would you? Very hard. Thanks, sir. All right, hang on.
Got the car back, then. What are you doing? I'm mutilating myself, no thanks to you. Why couldn't you have got here five minutes earlier? Beware the dog. Really? Well, where is it, then? Or is that just to let us know you're in? <laughs> Very comical. Is it likely I will keep a dog in there with my stock? That is part of a sophisticated system I am installing while I've got that wedge on the premises. What, well, beware the dog sign without a dog? What's sophisticated about that, apart from the fact you don't have to feed it, I suppose? Psychiatry, Terry. Plant the fear of slavering jaws in the mind of the average villain, he's off like a rabbit. Why do you think the law has all them Alsatians? They're not herding German sheep, are they? No, but they do bark. Who's going to do that? You, eh? <laughs> I don't see you out there. Woof, woof! Bowsy, 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 bowsy! That is the first weapon in my fight against the intruder. That is the next one. Have a butcher's. Be careful. <laughs> cool, you've been lashing out, haven't you? What is it? That is technically known as a false house alarm. Couple of batteries for the little light, screw it on the wall, and for all they know, you're wired up to Scotland Yard. Very subtle, I thought. Subtle? It's a joke. <laughs> you're not wired to anything. Yeah, but the light was intent on a felony, don't know that, do he? That is a visual deterrence, Terence. Terry, very useful when there's villains around. Mm. Be old. What is that? State of the art, that is. See that? Yeah. That is a genuine infrared microwave sensor. Microwave? Mm. Invisible, but all seeing. What's it do? Make the toast and then fire it at him? <laughs> Make toast. Bring the ladder. I'll get a ladder. If you had two brain cells to rub together, you'd see what it does. Stick a ladder just there. If you walk in front of this, you'll get caught in a sudden blaze of light. Pinpointed. No hiding place. Here, hold it. Now, don't drop it. Lights, eh? What is that for when the alarm don't go off and the dog don't bark? Look, just stop <laughs> nausing it and hand it here, will you? Here you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. No, you get up and make yourself useful. I can't do it. I get vertical. I've gone all giddy. Certainly gone all summer to cop for this lot. Still, if they're all deaf and frightened of fairy lights, it should really scare them off, shouldn't it? La da di da da. Do we all need something together? What do you think, then? Do you like it? I think you're a funny man. You always follow girls around. No. No, they generally follow me. I get taken for Robert Redford a lot. Same height, same shoe size, same... Must be a lot of trouble. More for him than for me. He gets a lot of women coming up and saying, here, ain't you Maltese Tony? So you are from Malta? You sound from England. Family name. Dad was Maltese George. Uncle Harry was Maltese Harry. Couldn't very well call me Charing Cross, could they? Yeah, I used there for a bit. I'll look out for the sharks. Evening, pal. Uh, good evening, gents. What can I do for you? We're looking for a motor trader. Oh, Drinks down here. Arthur Daly. Oh, yeah. Is he around, John? Uh, the name's Dave. And Arthur generally gets in later than this. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll have a bevy and wait, then. Shall we, Mick? Yeah. Sounds favourite. Uh, got any grouch? Oh, I'm sorry, gents. I can't serve you unless you are members. I mean, that is the rules of the club. I can give you a proposal form, though. I can't find a damn thing. Come on, this is a watering hole, isn't it? Oh, no. There ain't a lot of water drunk here. <laughs> Did you want to see Arthur on business or social? Business and a bit of social, if he's up to it. Look, if he ain't in his car a lot, he's probably down his lockup back at the old brewery. You could try that. All right, we'll do that. If he's not there, we'll come back here later. Tell him Billy Lynch wants a word, will you? Billy Lynch? Yeah. You know. Billy Lynch. Right. See ya, John. <laughs> well, come on, then. It's all systems go out there. Or it would be if anything went. You can be as caustic as you like. This is my investment I'm protecting, not yours. You'd have blown it all on the donkeys by four o'clock. Uh. You should be very grateful to me. I am. Oh, yeah, I am. All right, then? Yep. Yeah, no, no, no! That is all activated up there. You've got to creep round it. That's not wake fang either, eh? Right. You'll set it off. Whoop! Ah! Oh, oh. Good to be back, you know. Don't know how much you miss it when you're on the off. The off? Travel. Abroad, like. You have been abroad for a long time? A couple of years, nearly. 
I had a business going with a fella, but it went a bit bad. He was being naughty, so I ducked out and left him with it. Wound up in Marbella. A lot of money in Marbella. Yes, I think. So, why are you here now? For holiday? No, I'm uh, moving some funds for a friend of mine. Got to see a man tomorrow, then I'm off. Ain't good for my health to stay here too long. Same for me too. It's too damp in London. Gives everybody bad chest. Oh. I won't say that. Tell you what, darling. We'll have another one here, shall we? Then we'll go to a club. See an old friend of mine. Very funny. How's that sound? Club? Oh, yes. Last week I was in tram. Lot of noise. Oh, well, we'll go in a taxi then. It was pure panic. Panic. Uh, look at that little run in this morning. I had criminal deprivation, a clamp from John Law, a street urchin trying to rob me blind, and your endless lip. And how did I cope with that? That's what I said, pure panic. No, no, no. No. What you fail to understand in your ignorance is the difference between panic and an heightened state of mental awareness. Arthur! Are we, are we, what's the matter with you? Put it on my slate. No, no, on second thoughts, let him pay for it. He still owes me for that padlock you ruined. Do what? You put it on his slate. I hate to break up this little tiff, but I've got a message for you, Arthur. I had a couple of geezers in here just now looking for you. Hey? Well, who were they? What do you want? I don't know. I didn't recognise them, but they said they had a message for you. They said, uh, Billy Lynch wants a word with you. End the message. Billy Lynch? What's Billy Lynch want to see me for? I didn't say. I don't think they wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Are you the geezer that runs that strip club? Yeah, the one in Berwick Street. Yeah, Val used to work there. That's right, yeah. Who's Val? They look very tasty. Where'd they go? Well, I thought you might have seen them. I sent them down the lock-up. Say that again? I sent them down the lock-up. I knew Terry would be with you if they was going to get naughty. Terry! See that? Heightened state of mental awareness. Awesome, innit? There's nobody about. He's like a scarlet pimpernel, this daily. Yeah. We'll have one more crack at that club then. Knock it on the head, all right? And then we'll get back to Billy and see what he says about it. Right. Fair enough. Here, yeah, Dave. Look. <laughs> Good evening, miss. Evening, Chief. Tony Mansoni used to pop in here with Arthur way back. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How you keeping? Top of the world. This is Imogen. Hello. Pleased to meet you, young lady. <laughs> well, uh, what you gonna have? I like to dance. You have no dancing? Uh, no. No dancing, no. Well, we don't get much call for dancing, really. Yes. Use a couple of vodkas and tonic, Chief. Well, you know Arthur, then, right? He had a run. You, you just missed him. Oh, shame. I think this is not a club. It is a bar. We drink this and go to club, yes? For dancing? Dance all night, darling, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, there's no need to rush off. I mean, I can always put the radio on for you. Cut the drinks, Chief, eh? Oh, yeah, of course. Mm. Well, cold, it's is all quiet by the look of it. I only could have cut the wires. You could break into that door with hammer and chisel if you wanted to. Go and look. I'll wait and see if anyone comes out. Oh, you'll wait, will you? Yeah. That'd be a great comfort while they're all jumping all over me. I'll tell them, get off, Arthur's waiting. Go on. <laughs> Watch out for the him for a what's name. What? <laughs> What you done? You got any Catherine wheels, Arthur? What are we going to do if he's in there? I mean, the geezer behind the ramp wasn't all that friendly, was he? Ah, it's no problem. But we'll take an elbow each and walk daily out if we have to. You can smack me if you feel like it. Hold on a minute. I think we're struck it lucky, yeah? That's Maltese, isn't it? It is isn't all. Yeah, that's more like it. That's Manzoni. We've had a result of it, my son.
Thank you. Hello, Maltese. Going somewhere nice? <laughs> Come here, you little weasel. <laughs> I think. 50 quid for a rotten firework display. Terry! Oi, oh, there you are. Yeah, come on, rouse yourself. It's broad daylight. The bird is on the wing out there. Good luck to him and all. It was broad daylight before I got any sleep. You didn't have any trouble, did you? Yeah, I had trouble. Trying to sleep on that thing curled up like that dog you haven't got. What's wrong with being a night watchman? I said I'd put you on wages. You are being paid for sleeping. Sleeping? I love that. You try sleeping on that. Well, well you won't have to get used to it. Uh -huh. I'll have my assets redeployed by the time your head clears. Good. What are you going to do with it all then? Aha. Uh -huh. I shall do what I am best at, Terry. I shall use my business flair to diversify. Hmm. I spotted an opportunity yesterday when I was pauperising myself with all that security rubbish. Huh? Spare parts. What, for cars or people? I don't see you doing arms and legs. You know, you're worse in the morning. Car parts I'm talking about. Terrible mark-up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later. Where are you going? For some breakfast. Oh, no, you're not. You're staying here. Well, my cash flow is still at risk. If you want wages, I'll bring you back a sandwich. Oh, hold on. Look, I haven't even had a shave. Yeah, well, don't on. worry, don't worry. It's fashionable. You look like one of them upper-class guppies. <laughs> a tart? You had him? And the two of you? Couldn't handle a tart? Let him walk away? It wasn't like that, Gov. I had her, but I tripped over a chair. By the time I got up, well, he'd bolted. Dad couldn't catch him either, you know. And he ain't been back since. You sure of that? No. I mean, we've been there all night. And Des is still there. Oh. Well, he better keep his eyes open, then. Let's hope he don't get mugged by some little old lady. God. If he's on his toes, he's got to get help from somewhere. Get that half a daily here. Now. Right. Daily. Right away. Yeah, and if you can't handle it, send Rita. You can stay downstairs and do her job. <clears throat> Barry? Arthur Daly. Well, you know me, Barry. Early to bed. That's a secret. Hey, listen, that, um... That consignment of parts you had, you still got them? Negotiable. I'll have to knock them out second hand, won't I? All right, all right. You let me know and I'll send my man over. OK, tell her. Well, can't you knock? This is an office. I was having a personal conversation You're there. Arthur Daly, aren't you? I might be. Who are you? Billy Lynch wants to have a little chat with you, my son. Hey, hey, Come hey, on, lively. Hey, 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 hey. You're on private property here. I'm a taxpayer. You can't do this. Get off. Listen, you're in London, you know, not Beirut. Shut your mouth, Daly. I can have charges brought. You shot off early last night, Tell What happened? Well, I got lumbered into a bit of night work. I'm a guard dog now, aren't I? Oh, well, one way to make a living, I suppose. You've got a loud bark, have you? <laughs> Just get us a cup of tea, will you? Yeah, a cup of tea, please, Rusty. Here, you missed the best bit of crumpet I ever seen down there. <laughs> Page three, what in it? Well, in the Winchester. Who's it with? Uh, made of Arthur's. Uh, geezer with a tan. Tony something? Oh, him, yeah, yeah. He's threatened to show up, yeah. Yeah, didn't stay long, mind you. I can't say I blame him. I think he got a bit of night work worked out for himself. <laughs> Some people have all the luck, don't they? The rest of us have to make do with your fry-ups. Oh, that's nice. Is it? <laughs> I don't know why you can't behave in a more civilised fashion. You've never heard of the oh, telephone? 
Look, what's your coat, William? What's your coat? Bye-bye, Henry. Right, come Come on. on. Sorry, dear. Here he is, Gov. Don't let me interrupt anything, Billy. I'm just a law-abiding citizen who's been dragged here against his will by this lunk. What's all this about, anyway? It's all about your Maltese, mate, Arthur. Your friend and mine. Where is he? Manzoni? Why should I know? Apart from an unavoidable five minutes yesterday, I hardly know the man. I can't help it if I'm buttonholed, can I? What's he done, anyway? He left my brother doing a two-stretch for a lorry load of porn that they shipped in. Half of it was his, so he's got a smacking coming. And if I think you're holding out on me, we'll take your face apart right now. How's that sound? Hello, Terry. Am I glad to see you, pal? Give us a minute, will you? Yeah, of course. What's up? Everything, mate. Listen, we don't know each other, but you're Arthur's muscle, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm odd job, aren't I? <laughs> if I don't lay my hands on some dosh I got stashed away at the Great Western Royal and make it to the drop, I'm brown bread. And Arthur's caught up in the cock up and all. He's in trouble, mate. You've got to get a result for the pair of us. Arthur's in trouble? Where is he? Billy Lynch is after him. Come here. So. Maltese ain't been near you since yesterday. No phone calls, no cries for help. On my life, Billy. He scrounged a lift in a cab when my motor was shackled. I was glad to see the back of him. I never did trust a man. Mm. You're not a bad judge. All right, then, Arthur. I'll buy that for now. But if you get so much as a sniff of him, you tell me. Unless you fancy waking up in bandages, capiche? I will be on the blower, William. Stand on me at the first sighting. I'm sorry we've had to have this little contretemps. Here, look, uh, have a card, then you can keep me in touch with events without having to send Tars out here. Yeah. Um, can your boy give me a lift back? Because I'll never get a cab round here. Get him out of here. Very kind. Come on, you. Get your hands off me. So Billy's after you, and Arthur's going to get a pasting for it. Not exactly kosher, is it? Of course it ain't, but I can't go handing myself over. I've got a man to meet. I'll be in concrete if I don't, and I can't do that till Mick and Des are out of the frame. God help me sort this, Terry. You're all I got, mate. Yeah, I can see that. Hold on, one mess at a time, all right? Uh, I'll go and pull Arthur out of that club. You stay here. Terry, I've got to make that meet. I mean, I've got to. Hard luck. Look, I'm not letting Arthur get jumped on just to suit your timetable. Stay here, I won't be long. Yeah, but... Look, relax. Make yourself a nice cup of tea, eh? Very thoughtful, Squire. I forget our earlier fracas this time, and if I spot Manzoni, you should try for the advanced driver's certificate. Terry. Terry? Oh, my God! Long story, Arthur. I'm sorry about this, but it's you or me, right? Oh, no, no, no violence. I mustn't be it. I'm all a right, sick man. All right, all right, all right. Get in there. Go on. Hey, I can't go in there. Get in there, Arthur. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I see they get you for this man's only. I see they hunt you down. I'd rather have the law on me than the fellas I'm talking to, Arthur. I wouldn't even be safe inside if I come up short with them. You, what are you doing? What are you doing? Think of it as a loan, eh? A loan? I don't give loans. Leave it alone. That's my life savings you're stealing. Well, we get a bit of change anyway. 
I'll leave your keys for you, shall I? I'm sorry, Arthur, mate. Ta-ta. Oh, don't go! Don't leave me! I suffocate! I get hydrophobia! Oh! Terry! My money! Mr. Manzoni, I believe you have something for me from Mr. Kramer in Marbella. Eddie, yes. It's all there, Chief. Don't worry. Of course it is. You'd hardly be entrusted with it otherwise, would you? Arthur, open the cage. Open the cage. What are you doing in there? Slipping fast. Let me out, Terry. Keys on the desk. Oh, thank God you came. I couldn't have lasted much longer. It's all right, it's all right here. Oh, oh. There, there you go. Oh! oh. oh. Uh. Well, what happened? I've been robbed. Robbed and bludgeoned by that monstrous Malteser. Where were you? I was running around so like a blue ass fly looking for you, wasn't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. What was he doing here? I tried to fend him off, but he went berserk. He... You didn't bring him here, did you? You're not part of this perpetration. Don't be a dillo. He turned up here and, well, I told him to stay. You what? Are you brain dead or something? With all this money here? What'd you do, chuck him the keys and stroll off to have breakfast? I was trying to pull you out of a scrape at a time. I told him to stay here because I thought he was a pal of yours. How come he left all that? I don't know, probably rubbed salt in the wound. But the important thing is, where is the rest of it? And much more important, where is he now? Dial 999. No, 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 look, look, look. I, the only thing I do know is he had a meet somewhere, right? That bird. Oh, God. I've been assaulted and battered, and all you can think of is birds. No, no, no. He was in the Winchester with a bird. I mean, maybe she'll know where he's going or something. Eh? Hey? Look, phone Dave. It's got to be worth a try for that amount of money, innit? No, you do it. I can't. I can't. I can't. Mr. Rajni Khan to the reception, please. Mr. Rajni Khan, please to the reception. Thank you. Fellas, let's talk about it, shall we? <clears throat> well, uh, excuse me, love. Is, is there a lady called Imogen working here? The, uh, tall blonde job. Uh, excuse me, are you Imogen? Yeah, I help you, yes. Well, yes, yeah, um, I think you could. Very much so, as it happens. <laughs> so when these men came for Tony, I hit them. But he runs away. He's in trouble, I think. Well, he will be if he catches up with him. If this don't work, he'll have old Bill on his case. You are old Bill? No, 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 I'm Arthur. <laughs> Arthur Daly. I am the aggrieved party. Oh, I'm sorry. How you find me? I was not long in your club. Oh, well, no, see, the man at the club, Dave, he never forgets a face. Oh, hold on. <laughs> no, you've got to keep your... That's it. Keep your left up. Excuse up. me, my dear. Come here. Oh, look, keep your mind off that for a minute, will you? Listen, if he's here, we can call the law, no messing. I want the money back, but I want you to dismay him first. I want rough justice, Terry. The rougher, the better. Don't want much, do you? Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? Uh, yes, we're uh, looking for Mr Manzoni at Forum. Malteser from Malta. Is he in? Mr. Manzoni left the hotel about half an hour ago. Oh, gone, was he? Marvellous. Look, he didn't leave any messages, did he? No. No. I just thought he might want to say thank you. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry about wrecking your lunch. I'll maybe, um, maybe I could make it up to you, you know, take you out somewhere. With old Bill? 
No, I think we'll leave the old bill at home. Just you and me, eh? Sherry! All right, all right. Oh, yes, I think. Telephone me first. I give you my number. Smash it. Um. Hello. Terry! Hey, Doe. Hey, Doe. See you soon. Oh, and I don't want to stand around waiting to be robbed again. All right. Bye bye. Oh, she is a bit tasty, though, isn't she? <laughs> So it's the law then, is it? Well, what else can I do? I can't let robbery with violence go unremarked. I don't want Plod crawling all over the car lot with his fingerprint powder. Be customs and excise next. There's a problem. But why not call Billy? He might have had a result. Oh, that's all right. No idea. need for that, Terry. I've seen him. You again? Terry, put one on him, Terry. Hit him. Oh, don't be stupid. Look at him. Yeah. Don't mind if I sit down, do you? Who did this, Billy? Then Des. Then you had a little go. Oh, nice. Yeah, very nice. Mind you, you earned it, you treacherous little bandit. Where's my money? I had to give it to a fella, Arthur. That's what it was all about. Funny, isn't it? I don't even know what it was for. Funny? Funny? Terry, drag him out and hit him. Go on. Hell about Arthur. Mine was the hotel. I went back for it, didn't I? It's here for you. 20 grand? All of it? On the nail. Are you saying you got a good idea and then went back for it? He ain't all bad, Arthur. Well, you didn't have to stand up to him while he was wielding the cosh. I love the back back. Well, fair's fair. Oh, look at the mess you made of that back seat. Clara all over the place. Oh, well, you'll have to buy it now, won't you? <laughs>